Hey you guys, we're back with a five minute race the clock challenge. This means that you're gonna set the timer for five minutes. Whether or not you're done with the workout in that five minutes, you're gonna be done when the clock goes off. So even though you're racing the clock, you're still working for quality repetitions, not just quantity, not just trying to get it done. Quality repetitions, really make sure you've got full range of motion, that you're keeping your repetitions tight. Okay, this is a finisher that you're gonna do at the end of a workout. So say you finish with a 20 minute workout, a 30 minute workout, and you just want to kind of wring out that last little bit. This is where you come. Five minute finisher. Uh, so here's the breakdown. We're gonna start with 10 repetitions of each movement. Then we're gonna go down to nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, and here are what the movements are. You're gonna do jacks, squats, and push-ups. That means when the timer starts, we're gonna do 10 jumping jacks, full range of motion. Then 10 squats, again, full range of motion, pushing through your heels, standing all the way up tall. After 10 squats, you're gonna go down, hit 10 push-ups, Okay, maybe for you it's on your knees, whatever your push-ups look like. Then you're back up. Nine jacks, nine squats, nine push-ups. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. On your last round, you're gonna do one jack, one squat, one push-up, and then hit that timer. See if you can complete this workout in under that five-minute time cap, or see what you can do within that five minutes. All right, push yourself hard. This is called going to your red line. You're gonna push yourself just as hard as you possibly can for five minutes, knowing that no matter what, you're done when that timer goes off. So push yourself, have fun, and then try it again in a few weeks and see how you do.